here I have the Industar 52. It's a real small lens. Uh, it's a Russian lens. I made many videos with it before. And uh, I want to test all my different lenses on this medium format camera. So, what would the pictures look like from an uh, $8 lens? Actually, I got this for $8 from eBay. But I think these days, this lens goes for like $20, you know. And uh, I got to say, it's really ri ridiculous. You know, it got this really small as lens on a, on a big camera. But to my surprise, this lens almost, almost covered the entire sensor. I mean, there was a little bit of vignetting on the corners. Not that I've ever cared about that. But anyways, there's something I learned today uh, regarding the electronic shutter. Because, you know, I, I was thinking, and I mentioned this in a stream, you can find the stream below. Uh, why not just use electronic shutter? I mean, doesn't that like prolong the, the life of your camera? And to me, it made sense. But then I, once I actually, okay, first, I took lots of pictures and the pictures came out great. They came out amazing if I didn't move the camera. But there were some shots where there was like this really, really crazy warping. And I've never seen that before on a camera because usually when you shake the camera, when you take a picture, that picture is kind of blurry. But I've never seen this kind of jello warp effect uh, on a camera before. And that's like, it's one of the learning, one of the key learning things about uh, shooting with a new system. So then after today, I just, uh, I told myself, I'm not going to use electronic shutter unless I'm on a tripod, you know, because uh, it's great, you know, electronic shutter is like, doesn't really make any sound. But I was being very careful not to move. Like I would hear like a little kitty sound and I assumed it took the picture. But I'm thinking right now, maybe that little beep sound when I, when I uh, clicked the shutter wasn't the actual electronic shutter. Maybe it's just signaling that it's uh, about to take the photo. Because I know some cameras beep before they take the picture. So that's the only explanation I could like uh, I could tell myself. Because some of these pictures are like really crazy warped. I mean, the pictures that came out well, came out well. They came out amazing. Some pictures were a little iffy. Like some of them just looked a little weird. Like there was something about them. There was like something kind of curved somewhere. I've never seen anything like it before. So uh, I guess I will stick to regular shutter. Like, you know, this is, this is a learning experience for me, you know. Um, it's great shooting with this lens. I mean, it's really small. It made the camera much lighter than it was. And uh, actually, now that I think about it, maybe the vignetting wasn't really this lens. Maybe it was that uh, I like accidentally moved the cameras to the side or something when I took pictures with this. And that's why I was getting a little bit of vignetting with some of the pictures. But, uh, yeah, it's a learning experience. Don't use electronic shutter unless you're really, really careful or uh, you got a tripod. Now, in one of my other videos, I mentioned that to get like the best performance out of your lens, not the sharpest, just like the best performance, you usually have to shoot at two stops higher. Uh, so this is a 3.5 lens. Normally, like on a on a full frame, you have to shoot two more stops, which would make like a something like 7.5, f7.5 or something like that. But since this is medium format, you got to multiply by 1.79. So uh, I was shooting around f13 because in case you didn't know, one of the challenges of shooting with medium format is uh, if you shoot like an f1.4, it's actually way less depth of field than f1.4. Like uh, if you shoot it with a 1.2, you're actually shooting at 0.95. If you're shooting like at f3.5, uh, it's actually like 2.8 and so on. So it's actually always less. So I had to shoot like at f13 so I could get the equivalent of shooting like around f8 or something, right? And uh, like I said, I was really, really surprised when the picture came out well, but I wasn't expecting that crazy jello warping with electronic shutter. So uh, I'm going to continue shooting with all my different lenses because, you know, I love shooting with vintage lenses. There's always people who don't understand. There's always people who just, they see the pixels for the pictures, you know, uh, pixels instead of the pictures. I'm going to copyright that. The people who see the pixels and not the pictures. And they always like, uh, they always complain like, oh, 
it doesn't look as good, but that's because like I'm zooming in. Like you have to see the whole picture, right? And don't just see the pixels. But anyways, Levitz wasn't expecting that great a performance from this lens, but actually it came out really great. Uh, the pictures are amazing. The dynamic range on this camera, because that was actually some pictures where like I took the picture and it was completely blown out. It's like completely white. If I was shooting with even my full frame camera, it would not have, uh, we wouldn't, I would not have been able to salvage it. But the reason I bought this uh, medium format was so I could push the camera to its limits, to its editing limits. And uh, I was able to take out, save the picture and I was like really shocked just how much I can recover even from a screwed up photo. So uh, yeah, besides that, if you are still watching I'm gonna make a Pokemon channel, you know, it's a, and it's really random, but like Pokemon and photography go really well because like uh, I can use the like the Go Plus and just auto catch when I'm out taking pictures. It's amazing. Anyways, I'm gonna make a new channel. I will announce it later on, but don't subscribe to it unless you're actually going to watch the videos, you know, because uh, um, YouTube has this thing where like if, if people don't watch your videos, then it's not gonna show it to the people who actually want to see them. You know what I mean? Much like Instagram. But anyways, if you're into that, I'm going to make a video about that later. I'm probably not going to update it as much as this channel because it's just kind of for fun, you know. Just, why not? Anyways, Indostar 5.2. If you've never seen the videos I made with this lens, uh, there's, you can check them out below. I'm going to put the links below. We learned not to use electronic shutter unless you're using a tripod, right? Anyways, see you around and thank you for watching.